Will a MOSFET amp sound the same as a tube amp? Mm, probably not. Okay, this question um, comes from Bernhardt in Germany. Hello, Paul. Let me say first that you brightened my days during the lockdown because of the virus here in Germany. Yeah, I get it, buddy. Um, I'm here. I am. I mean, this is my th this is my office that I put up this bookshelf, you know, so it looks like I'm actually uh, literate <laughs> and cool. <laughs> Neither of which is true. Um, uh, I'm locked in here too, though I do make a point, and, and so here, here we go with our, our, our ramble. I do make a point of getting out as much as possible and walking around the neighborhood. And, and uh, after every single meal, I am, you know, Terry and I get out and we walk and we try and take care of ourselves and get the hell out of the house. I mean, in a way, it's sort of a staycation, which is can be good, but this is, this is tough. I mean, so, you know, mentally... Um, you got to do the best you can, and I'm doing it. I'm here recording these videos in my home, your home, on your, you know, forced staying home, and and uh, and music. Music is great. Our stereo systems. What a great opportunity to enjoy our stereos. We crank our sucker up every single night. We've got a pair of LS50, the Kept LS50s, a Sprout, and uh, we 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 play them tunes. So anyway, where was I? Uh, oh, his lockdown because of the virus here in Germany. Watching your videos is both fun and informational. Well, thank you. Um, now to my question. If I like the tube sound, but I want reliability of solid state, should I go for a MOSFET amp? Thank you, and don't stop your YouTube videos. Okay, I won't. <laughs> I promise. I, I actually like doing these, so I won't. They're fun. Um... Well, MOSFETs are, as a solid state device, are much more tube-like sounding than uh, bipolar, uh, you know, uh, junction transistors, which is your standard. When we think of transistors, we're usually referring to what we call BJTs, which are bipolar junction transistors. That's your standard silicon uh Transistor that takes you know 0.6 volts to turn it on, blah blah woof woof. The MOSFETs are field effect transistors, and they are very different to design with, and they're very different sounding. So they are much more tube-like than BJTs. That said, it's all dependent on the designer and what kind of chops he has. So I'll give you some examples. We make, in case you didn't know, we make amps. So one of our engineers, Darren Myers, is uh, he's, he's a really brilliant engineer. And he designed the two latest power amps that we have, the M700 monoblock pair and the M1200 monoblocks. So in the M700 monoblocks, we use MOSFETs at the input to a, uh, ampl uh, a, um, a Class D amplifier module from ICE. Now, this Class D output stage has a sound to itself, as does every Class A stage, every Class AB stage. It, it doesn't matter. Wh whatever you have for your output stage, it has a sound to it. Now, just like in cooking, where we can sweeten it a little bit over here with this, or we can detract from it here, we can add some more feedback, we can change the way the power supply is, the coupling caps. We have tons of tools at our disposal to change the way the amplifier sounds. It may all measure the same, and, and typically it does, but it doesn't sound the same, which is one of the reasons, as I ramble off here into the, into the dust, which is one of the reasons why we are such big advocates of designing with our measurement equipment and our ears, our ultimate measuring equipment. Because you know what? Who gives a rat's ass how it measures if it doesn't sound good? And so many companies, I, I just boggles the mind, 
come up with a design that measures beautifully. They'll give it a cursory listen and say, eh, sounds good, and they're done. That's, that's, like, that's like closely following a recipe down to the gnat's ass. You got that sucker right. And then never tasting it. Just handing it off and hoping, you know, and you're not accounting for the humidity. You're not accounting for the variances in your oven and the stove and, you know, and you, no cook worth her salt would ever deliver a meal to somebody without tasting it, adjusting this and adjusting that so it tastes right. Well, my mom did. Of course, my mom boiled peas until they were gray. So, eh, anyway, enough. It, it, it's a combination of listening and measuring and listening and measuring and going back and making changes till you get it to sound the way you want. So in the M700, Darren came up with this really innovative MOSFET circuitry at the input stage, which then sets the flavor or the tone for the whole amplifier to get it as close to the sound of live music as we can, or closer to what it would be had we left the module alone, or we used a BJT. Okay. In the M1200s, we do the same thing, but instead of MOSFETs, we use a vacuum tube because, well, it's a more expensive amplifier and vacuum tubes are, they require different power supplies and they're expensive and blah, blah, woof, woof. Okay. Both of those are great sounding amplifiers. Both of them, you might say, are very tube-like sounding, whatever that means. But I'm sure you would be delighted with either one of those amplifiers sound. And one is captured with MOSFETs, the other with vacuum tubes. So the moral, the end of the story is, yes, MOSFETs do sound more tube-like, but it all depends on the chops of the designer. So in the right hands, you can do about anything you want. And that's a, a good place to start. So hope that helps. Stay safe, my friends, and we'll get through this together. Okay, talk to you tomorrow. Bye. Thank you.